Yeah, no, this is decent. I already have that skin. Well, that does remind me. We should probably go equip a new skin. Uh, any new guns? Oh, we have rocket launchers now. Like I said, I personally do not care for rocket launchers at all. But I guess they can be pretty useful if you get the right one. Uh, let's compare this to that sniper rifle. Nope, sniper rifle's better. I mean, they're both sniper rifles, but you know what I mean. Okay. And let's see. Let's just change our skin color. That sounded weird, I'm sorry. You know what? We're kind of following a lot of Mellow One stuff. Let's go with this one. Let's represent the Mellow One style. Yeah. All right. Next side quest. In Memoriam. Ever faked your own death? Tricky stuff. Did it a couple years back to throw Hyperion off my trail, but apparently some bandit's been spying on me. He's going to tell Hyperion what he knows, unless you take him out first. Oh, fun. We get to go kill more spies slash assassins. God, this whole thing's just like a whole espionage mission in it. I have to pretend we're dead and all that stuff. All right, let's grab a vehicle. That's the technical we now can use for to get into the bandits, but we are just going to use the light runner for now. And we're headed over here. Okay. I think I know where that is. Okay, no, no, no. Technically, hmm. I think there's, yeah, there's a little passageway we can use right around here to get. Yep, here we go. Funny how these have this little area just kind of hidden and you don't notice it. All right, where is Bull? There he is. And you're right. God, friggin' skags. These guys are literally pushing me off. Oh my god. They're just pushing me all over the place. Just drop something. Check it out. Oh boy. What did he just drop? Oh, that's interesting. I think was, this is his rare item that he can drop. Incendiary fireball. Forget the curveball, Ricky. Give him the heater. That's a lot of grenade damage for this early on. Hold on, what exactly does this thing do? Oh, it's like a, it's literally a fastball. That's a lot of grenade damage, though. It seems like it's a very small radius. That's kind of cool, but I'm going to stick with my firework for now. And a class mod. Okay, nothing too useful. Mr. Bull. We at Hyperion are skeptical. The bandit Lilith was confirmed dead after the liberation of New Haven. We will need to listen to your footage before payment can be processed. Leave the echoes in the attached dead drop locations. Find those echoes, killer. If Hyperion finds out I'm alive and working with the Crimson Raiders, it could be New Haven all over again. That doesn't sound fun. Also, Mr. Blake, he was featured in the um, Claptrap DLC of the first game, so that's cool. I see we have a floating thing over there. There we go. So yeah, it, we are finally dealing with what's going on over in the ship. First off, we have this anchor that just keeps spewing snow everywhere. I like this place. Hyperion shouldn't be able to find you here. Thanks. I tried to make it very... Gruesome. I was gonna say cozy. You've strapped charred bandit corpses around the entrance. Corpses can be cozy. <laughs> kind of like our place in New Haven before. Um. Yeah, I'm going now. <sighs> Suave, Lilith. The meat puppy. Fun. We get to hear more about these two and their relationship. Cause that's what we need is freaking high school drama. Or I guess adulthood drama. I don't freaking know. Where am I going next? Over there. I left my vehicle over there. <gasps> It's probably still faster for me to go run and grab it real quick before we head over there, so. I guess it'll at least be faster in the long run. Alright. I think that one's oh right there actually. Look for follow the shiny green things. 
Oops, guys. Uh, what'd that do? Oh, here we go. So what's the emergency? I... Come again. I was out hunting, and I found some of that iridium stuff, and one of those weird worshipper guys sees me, and I chase him down and grab him, and he just... Liquefied? It was... awesome. I don't know if it's because of the vault opening, or being a siren, or both, but... This iridium stuff is the tits. You look really pale. Yeah, I passed out a few times, but this could be huge. Okay, but why not just send an echo? Why call me out here and increase the risk of Hyperion finding out you're still working with the Crimson Raiders? Uh, uh um, because you, how, how are you doing? Yeah, I think I'm gonna leave now. Okay. Jesus Christ. Do you guys need a, do you guys need a mentor? Like, do you need some couples therapy or something? Because honestly, Christ. Roland has a point. You really didn't need to call him out all that way. At the same time, though, it's kind of rude of you, Roland. Like, she was scared to death and she kind of wanted someone familiar. And you just kind of... Yeah. So, I think both of you guys are at fault here. All right, the last one's on top of the pipes. <sighs> okay, the way you're actually supposed to get up there is take this bridge that she took to get to Frostburn Canyon, and then venture on over this way. Now we can actually find this son of a bitch. All right, let's take a look around, shall we? Screw off. Oh, hey, weapons gush. Ah, uh, grenades. Nothing too exciting. Alright. Oh, hold on. I think that's it right over there. Alright, let's try to get on this pipeline. There we go. Now let's get over there carefully. Perfect. Jack just left him for dead in the snow, evidently. The raiders could use the help. You should track them down. Another vault hunter, huh? I'll see if I can contact him by echo on my way back to Sanctuary. Good. You can go now. Well, I'm sorry. I just got here. I'm a little busy waging a one-woman war on every bandit in the tundra, so you can focus on taking down Jack. But hey, if you want to hang out, I could just give up this Firehawk thing and let the bloodshots overrun Sanctuary. Uh, no, no, uh, no you're, you're right. Of course. Are you sure? Hey, Coco, we can talk about boys. I'll, uh, you know, I'll, I'll just talk to you once I find the ball hunter. I'm sorry for... I'm sorry. Play hard to get. That's how you do it. You guys need some serious couple therapies. I'm just saying. Price in a sidecar. Okay, uh, I guess we'll stop by Sanctuary again and give this to Lilith. Alright, Lilith, we got your high school love drama all in three echoes. With the Peeping Tom dead and his footage destroyed, Hyperion remains clueless about Lilith's location. Thanks. The less Hyperion knows about me, the better. You didn't, uh, listen to those echoes, right? No, of course not. We already have that skin customization head, so... Now we have, finally, Ellie's gift. Positive, er, side quest. Positive self-image. So we'll head back to the dust and go do that for her. Alright, back here in the dust, let's actually try out this new bandit tactical. So we can either have it as a saw blade or a catapult. Uh, let's do the catapult stuff. That seems interesting. And let's see. Oh, that looks like friggin' colors for Jinx from League. Let's go with it. Hell yeah. Get to blow some shit up. That looks like the car of a psycho murderer. I'm digging it. Get back to the bloodshot dam and try honking your way in again. Maybe later. That's the Spider Man King, apparently, so. Actually, I'm going to try to fight this guy. Oh. <laughs> Classy. I'm going to try to fight this guy on foot so I can get more experience. Nice. And just some spider wings. Alright, let's go kill some vehicles, shall we? Here we go. Come on. A bit harder to control, apparently. I guess it's to be expected. Oh, 
go. Hey, that's a very positive way of looking at it, ignoring the fact that they're trying to insult Ellie here and instead takes it in a very positive light. Ellie's a good character. She's a very good pro body, pro not skinny character. This all kind of reminds me why I came out here in the first place. Lived in Sanctuary for a while, but Moxie kept hassling me about working for her, putting on makeup, losing weight. I just got sick of her nagging and came out here to make it on my own. That and I was worried Scooter might have a crush on me. What? <laughs> Uh -huh. We get it. You guys are the incestuous. You're the token incestuous family of the group. We get it. All right. So, oh, got another one over here. I am. A, this car's about to blow up. I should probably back off for a second. Let it recharge. I said back off for a second. Okay. Nope. I'm getting out of this thing. This thing is going to blow up on my ass. I'm not careful. Speaking of blowing up. Damn. Okay. Hopefully this thing will start recharging now. Yep, there we go. Flames are all doused and it should be as new eventually. Sure, I guess. Nope, <laughs> it's just stuck there. That was too bad. And the last one's right over here. Perfect. Saw blades are probably easier to land, but these are probably easier to. These probably do more damage, especially if you hit them directly. Plus explosions. Explosions are awesome! There we go. I'm on my way, Ellie. Don't you worry your big self. Here we go. Yes, don't worry yourself. Wait, is Ellie the person? Oh my god. Is Ellie the girl they're talking about in that Queen song? Probably not, but hey, man can dream. I mean, I guess it looks interesting. Yes. People are gonna see that when they come in and be like, "Yeah, that's looking sweet as high." Hey, I mean, we need more positivity in the world. That one's my favorite. Sure it is. too hard. Having successfully mounted Ellie's ornaments in her garage, you may now add interior designer to your list of skills. Explosions, theft, and interior design. Hell of a day. Hell yeah. Now, while we're here and while we got that message and while we have a vehicle prepared for us already, let's go over and try to destroy that caravan, shall we? See what special loot they got for us. So that's definitely not it. It would definitely be a bit further back. This thing does have a longer boost time, just harder control, it looks like. Let's see. Where is the caravan? There you guys are. Get away from the caravan. Are you serious? Okay, chill. Now you do want to be careful of running to this thing on foot because eventually it will just start leaving again, so let's try to make this quick. Come on. Really? How is it so hard to get on a freaking 
Oh my god. Okay, just grab the damn loot and get out of here. Oh my god. There. Alright, and that wasn't any really decent loot. That was just a bunch of... Oh no, they were class mods. Okay. I guess we'll take a look at them. Fire rate. I'll pass. Okay. I'm going to do another reset, and we are going to get back in Ellie's garage and finally go try to save Roland. Then we can probably call it quits there. Alright, here we go. That looks like one of ours. Let him in while I try to get Iberian back on the horn. Surprise, bitches! Nope. You are not doing that to me today. Piece of cake. That's probably the most dramatic entrance of all the people who got special entrance things. Christ. Yes, also, you know how I said I was overpowered? Now I'm actually underpowered and on level. Which isn't a bad thing. Not a bad thing at all. Nice. And we got a level up. I will take that. All right, I'll put up on screen now. <laughs> Damn it! I'll put up on screen now if um, Bad Mod drops anything rare for you to rebattle him for. Let's quickly upgrade our Helio skill, and let's infiltrate the Bloodshot Stronghold. I get it, we'll be fucked if something does happen to Roland. I think this actually would be a nice place for us to stop. We've made, we did quite a few side quests here today, I don't really care for that. Um, I mean, it probably is nice for vehicles and stuff, but... Actually, you know what, I'll keep it and then just put it in my bank for later. Anyways, we did several side quests today. We stopped a cult, we found out about the drama between Lilith and Roland, and we also helped with Ellie and her positive positive self body or positive body image i can speak today but that's gonna be for this part next time we're gonna go save roland if you like what i do subscribe to my channel consider supporting me on patreon follow me on all social media links i'll see you all then